So, so this is the HR diagram. This is what we spent some time talking about yesterday, and it's a um, it's a way to uh, classify different types of stars. The main sequence is the most stable part of a star's life. That to where star spends most of its time. That's why most of the stars are here. And as it progresses through life, it becomes giant and then dwarf. Now, uh, so uh, when you answer this question, it's important to <laughs> recognize that you are answering only for the main sequence of stars. So, um, you, so what, to char what characterizes main sequence is basically this line here, the downward sloping line here. So, so when it talks about going from the bottom to the top, as you go from bottom to top, it necessarily involves moving to the left or moving to the left of the HR diagram. So in terms of the temperature here, going from the lower temperature to the higher temperature. So mention all that so that you have that in your head as you're going through. So, um, so the first choice says the mass of main sequence of stars increase going from the bottom to the top. Now in this plot itself, I don't see mass, but I hope it's hint pointed out in the hint. Um, yeah, the relationship of these properties to other properties like mass and radius is described in this section. And yeah, and when you uh, look at it, it'll talk about how uh, the brighter stars are both more brighter main sequence stars are both more massive and have bigger radius. So as you go from the bottom to the top, it does involve more luminosity. And from the other relationships we know, the mass is all going up. And um, and, and as you go from bottom to top, the, you are moving on the chart from right to left. So the temperature is going up, the surface temperature decreases. Okay, so not it. Uh, radius of main sequence stars first decrease and not it. Um, surface temperature of main, okay, yeah, this is what I was looking for. As you go from bottom to top, you are necessarily moving to the left, which is associated with the increasing temperature. Okay, um, radius of main sequence stars increase because that's associated with the increasing lumi luminosity and increasing mass. Um, mass of main sequence stars remain the same. No, not if you are following the curve that was on the chart. Uh, luminosity is not, in, okay, that's definitely not right. Uh, surface temperature remains the same. And again, no, because if you're just moving directly up, sure, it, you are at the same temperature, but you are following the main sequence line. So the temperature is changing along that line. Uh, luminosity main sequence increases. Okay, that sounds right. So these four choices there. So, so yeah, it's... Um, this one diagram tells you a lot um, about how to think about different types of stars. And I think of, frankly, before I started the teaching astronomy, I've heard the phrase main sequence. I didn't quite know what it meant until I started the teaching astronomy. <laughs> and, and this diagram, be, even before you know anything about stellar life cycle, it clearly demonstrates to you how main sequence um, stands out from all the other groupings of stars. Um, 